Welcome back to our repricer demo playlist. In this video, we're going to take a look at eBay repricing. If you don't use eBay, feel free to skip on to the next video where we look at assigning your min, max, and rule. Now, before we get started, let's set some ground rules. In order to reprice on eBay, it is important that you have a custom label set on your products. Along with this, you must set a UPC, EAN, or ISBN on each product. To keep it simple, we're just going to refer to these all as barcodes going forward. In order to reprice on eBay, we'll periodically take your product's barcode and compare it to other products with the same barcode in order to reprice. Now let's take a look at our eBay repricing rule. Repricing rules are great as they allow you to target different kinds of products in different ways. You can have as many repricing rules as you'd like, but you can only assign one rule to each product. Here at the top of our repricing rule, we have what we would consider the core of our rule, our compete with section. Here we determine what we're going to do with our competitors. This could be beating them, pricing above them, or matching their price. Directly below, we also have what we'll do for our non-catalog items. Earlier on, I mentioned that your products need to have barcodes in order to reprice. A product without a barcode is considered non-catalog. This allows you to determine what to do in this circumstance. Within our rule, you can also tweak your bid and max prices. Normally, you'll use the manually assign option, which allows you to set a min max price on each product. You can, however, use different settings, including setting a min max for this rule specifically. You can also exclude sellers based on a number of criteria, including if they are a top rated seller, their location, their feedback rating, the minimum quantity that they have for sale, or even specific sellers. And finally, within our scenarios section, we can control how we'll reprice in specific scenarios, such as if there are competitors below your minimum price, there are no competitors, or even if a competitor matches your minimum. Now let's move on to the next video in our playlist, where we're going to look at assigning a rule, a min, and a max to specific products. See you there.